Hey guys, Esther here. And today on this video, we're gonna talk about how to recognize and manage our level of crazy when dealing with a crime. So you heard it, a crime. So this one is gonna be really juicy, guys. So here we go. And before I start, isn't this a beautiful space? I always like to find beautiful locations and bring you and share the magic with you. So, so happy I was able to locate this place here. All right, so here we go. So a couple of days ago, in the morning, I got into my car and I realized that a few items in my car were missing. How did I know that? Because I did a quick check of the things that I know would be normally in my car. And the items were my glasses. Now, for some of you that know me fairly well, you know I don't spend a lot of money on most things. But when it comes to glasses, like prescription glasses, I like to splurge a little bit. Because, you know, number one, you need good glasses. And number two, you know, these were prescriptions, but they were also sunglasses. And then I had a second pair for just kind of like more chic, more, you know, to go hang out, um, a little bit more fancy schmancy, that type of thing. But both of these glasses were my favorite thing in the world, obviously. Sorry, Tom. <laughs> so anyhow, I noticed that they were missing from my car. And I thought, no way, no way could something be taken no way could something be taken from my car. I mean, I live in a fairly, you know, safe neighborhood, but nowadays that remains to be seen. So anyway, let's just say I was pretty peed off. And being the EQ diva that I am, I knew very quickly that I needed to shift that energy. So let's go into the steps that I went through to get to the point where I am today, which is total freedom and moved on and already bought new glasses and I'm already moving on from there. So let's talk about it, shall we? Okay, step one, I was pissed off, okay? I was sincerely pissed off. I felt violated, I felt angry, I felt frustrated. I felt like this is so obnoxious. Like why can't people just do what they have to do to make a living like we make a living? Like I was really mad, okay? And all kinds of adjectives were coming out of my mouth. At about, I would say in about a half an hour, I went to the next step and mind you, when you are a spiritual person and you know who I'm talking to, or you're a person who you're working on that, because we're all working on that all the time, it's, a in and, it's an in and out kind of process. So even though maybe I'm at my freedom point now and I'm better, we still you know, go from in and out because it's normal. That's part of being human and that's part of the crazy. So number two was, I moved into understanding. I started to, okay, I'm a spiritual being on a human journey, blah, 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 right? <laughs> and I went down that road. I should be more loving, I should be more compassionate, I should be more understanding. So I did that whole thing for a few minutes. Then, as I did that, I was basically faking it till I made it. Fake it till you make it, right? Then I went into the next step, which is I actually started to feel compassion. I started to feel compassion for the fact that the, word, the world is a hot mess. And there are many different ways that we can look at the fact that it's a hot mess. There are reasons from a spiritual perspective that it's a hot mess. 
And then there are reasons on the mundane that it is a hot mess because we can make it better if we really wanted to, okay? So that's a whole other conversation. So I started to go into compassion and how the people that took my glasses were probably in a place where they needed to take my glasses. They probably don't wanna take my glasses. They don't really want to go looking in people's cars. Maybe on some level they do, but I truly believe that most people, if they're good natured, don't really want to do that. They need to do that. And so part of the, my compassion became knowing that there was a reason most likely that these people did that. Then I went into gratitude. Gratitude that my car was not damaged, that my car was not broken into, that I think what happened was that I forgot to lock the door and so probably my door was open and so the person checked the door and it was open and they went in and they took what they could and they took off. And so gratitude that nothing else was taken, nothing worse was done to the car and that that's all that was taken. The next step was releasing of the energy. It was like, all of a sudden I realized, what am I wasting all this energy on this drama? All this energy on this drama. Okay, so the glasses were taken. Okay, but nothing else was. And even if it was, okay, there's nothing I can do about it. Why waste any more time and energy and, and efficiency and productivity and all the things that we do to ourselves? For what? For what? So go get yourself new glasses, make the best of it, maybe get a new pair, something that now I can enjoy a new style or something, and just enjoy the freedom of it, the freedom of just letting it go. And then the final step, next. Next, move on, done. And that is when I felt this pure freedom, this feeling of just complete ecstasy. It is a feeling of just total release, total freedom of no attachment to this physical thing. And it just felt amazing. And it still feels amazing. And like I said, I, you know, we do have a tendency to go in and out once in a while. Like when I stop and think about it, I go, well, you know what? You know, I'm gonna stay up one of these nights and I'm gonna see if I can catch one of those little suckers, right? But then I go, Est, there's no point. There's no point. Move on, be grateful, and perhaps, perhaps, and this is a deeper level, perhaps there is a karma, karmic reason for me that was my lesson. Number one, lock your door. Number two, maybe I've stolen something from someone and so this is payback time. So we never know, accept it, deal with it and move on. And the other thing is, let's be practical. We are gonna put up some signs. We are going to you know, let people know that there are cameras around the facility. There are you know, safety measures being taken. So this is not a free for all. You can't just come in and take people's property. So that type of stuff is gonna be handled, but it's both. It's being practical and it's being spiritual but you don't waste any more energy draining yourself. And I'm not wasting any more time draining myself about it. And so I hope this video helped. And I do wanna say to people that happen to maybe watch my videos that maybe are thinking about doing a crime or maybe are you know, in a position where you need to do crimes because you have no other choice, look, we always have a choice. I know this may be easier for me to say, but we always have a choice. And it is much worse to deal with karma. So just check in with yourself, see if it's really worth it. And let's try to support each other 
We're on the same boat, trying to make it. We're all in it. Let's just, let's try to be a little bit more kumbaya if we can. I know it's not easy, but let's give it a chance. Okay guys, so I hope this video helped you on some level. And uh, if not, <laughs> say la vie, right? <laughs> so with that guys, as always, when you know and understand yourself, the world will know and understand you too. And remember, what's the best that can happen. All right, y'all. See you soon. Bye.